Hello lovely, welcome back to Alakelge YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be learning how to make this scissors neckline. It is also called crisscross neckline. So if you're interested in learning how to make this, please continue to watch this tutorial. If you're new here, please kindly subscribe, like, comment, and also share this video to all my subscribers. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. So to start off, you must have your pattern paper on fold. So my pattern paper is on fold. I'm just going to use masking tape to tape it down. And from there, I'm going to mark my shoulder to boss point. My shoulder to your boss shoulder to boss point is your shoulder to your nipple. So I'm going to mark that mine is 11. Then from shoulder to under boss, mine is 14. And shoulder to waist, and mine is 16. So make sure you use your own measurements. So I'm just going to square down those line like so so the length of the paper pattern paper i have here is 18 inches because i'm making play suit i will still explain later so i'm labeling that the first line is the boss point second one is the underbrush and the third one is the waist line so now after that i'm going to mark half of my shoulder measurements my shoulder is 14 so 14 divided by 2 equals to 7 so that's why i mark 7 there and from the point where i mark 7 i'm going to come down by 1 0.5 inches for the shoulder slope and from where I mark the shoulder slope I'm going to mark my arm or measurement how to calculate the arm or measurement is right there on the screen so I'm from there where I mark the arm or measurement I'm just going to square down the line on that point so that point we serve as my chest line so from there I'm just going to mark uh, um, on my chest line there, I'll mark half of my shoulder measurement again. My shoulder measurement is 7. So, sound divided by 2 equals to oh, 14. So, 14 divided by 2 equals to 7. And from there, I'm going to mark it straight to where we come down for the shoulder slope. So, the next thing is for me to mark the basic neckline of 3 inches. If you're working with the plus size measurement, measurement you can use 3.5 or 4 inches. So, from where I mark the 3 inches, I'm going to connect it straight to the um, oh, the shoulder slope right there and that line there that we mark for the arm you're going to measure that line and divide it by two so whatever you get you're going to mark the midpoint there so from where you mark the midpoint you're going to go in by 0 0.5 this is to enable us to create our arm or curve so just place your curve ruler just so that you can place an inch right there on the pattern paper and make your curve so that's the arm or curve right there so the next thing I'm going to do now is the measurement I'll be inputting now is my half of my ball span. My ball span is seven, so sound right by two equals to three point five. Your ball span is your nipple to nipple measurements. Please make sure to take yours and use it. So I uh, mark on the waistline, the under ball line, and also on the ball point, and I'm just going to connect those three dotted lines together like so. So after doing that, the next thing is for me to locate my princess arm. Um, we're going to be needing that for this. So I'll locate the midpoint. I know the midpoint is located earlier. So the next thing for me is just to use my curve ruler to connect it straight to that point. So I'm just going to place my curve ruler right there and make my line just like that. Just that simple. The next thing I'm going to do now is to take my dart intake. So I'll be using that intake of 1.5. So if you're working with the plus size measurements, you can use 2 inches. But for me, I'm just like oh, between small size and medium size. So I'll be using 1.5. So that means I'll take 0 0.5 on one side and 0 0.5 on the other side. And straight up, I'm going to connect that line to the underboss. Just watch I'm, how I'm going to do it from the underboss. That's how I'm connecting a straight line. And straight from the underboss, get the connected to the boss point with your curve ruler. So don't use a straight ruler, use a curve ruler to give you the kind of curve in order to have, for you to have a curve that will contain your breast because this style it can't really wear bra. So you need to create your curve very well. So that is that for that. So the next thing I'm going to do is on the chest line, I'm going to input cut out my boss circumference. My boss circumference is 34, so 34 divided by 4 equals to 8.5. Then I added 2 inches for seam allowance, that's why I marked 10.5. And on the under boss there, I'm going to include my dart allowance. So my round under boss is 28, so 28 divided by 4 equals to 8.5. Plus 2 inches for that of, of our seam allowance, that's 10.5. My round order waist is the same thing with my underboss, so that's why I just mark straight because 
twenty eight divided by four is seven. So plus one point five inch for that. That's eight point five. Then plus two inches for same allowance. That's why it's ten point five. So that's why mine is straight like that. Yours might not look like that. So the next thing I'm going to take now is my boss that. So my boss that is two inches. Your that. The boss that will be the difference between your front length and your back length. If you don't know how to take a measurement, please watch my video on how to take measurements. So you're going to know the amount of boss that you're supposed to take. So that is that on that side. So the next thing you're going to need to do now is to get your tracing wheel. You know I told us that our pattern paper should be on fold. So you're going to get your tracing wheel. So use your tracing wheel to trace what you have here to the other side of your pattern paper. So I'm just using my tracing wheel to trace it. So make sure you trace it very well so that it will show on the other side of the pattern paper. So and after that, you're going to open it up. So this is my, you may not see the lines of the tracing wheel on the other side, but I can see it. Once you use your tracing to do it, you're going to get it. So now, you're going to, I'm going to use my marker to show us those lines there. So you're going to need to tr use your, if you're working with your marker or pencil, just make sure you just draw everything out. You need to draw it out. So just look at the way I'm trying to just get the, all everything out. So I'm just getting it out. I'm tracing it out using my uh, marker. So, you know, you need to look at the lines very well to get it accurately. So I'm using my checking it that, okay, this is the right thing. So this is how you're going to do yours too. So you're going to do yours like so. So and then I'll just get check everything like that. So that is it. So I've connected everything that I have on this other side. I've gotten it to this other side because you need a full scale. That is why I need that. So at the middle point, you know when you fold the pattern up to, you're going to have the middle point. There is going to be a crease line there. So just use that to just mark the midpoint of your pattern paper right there. So the next thing for me now is to create the neckline that I want. So from the middle point, then you're going to mark how deep you want your neckline to be so I'll be using five inches for the deepness of my neckline so the next thing is for well, from that neckline you're going to connect it just look at that what I'm going to do is you're going to need your covular in order to connect so you connect from the shoulder slope up there from the three inches that we marked earlier so, so, so from this arm O so make sure you place your pattern ruler very well you cannot use it do it at once you need to do it gradually so like that, so that's how you're going to do it. So just make sure you just connect it like so. So you can use four, you can use five, you can use six, but I use five inches for this. So just connect it, and if there is any kind of sharpness, just make sure you spontaneous. it. So that is my neckline that I've created, the first one. So the next thing I'll do now is to create how wide I want the shoulder to be. So for me, I mark 3.5 for the wideness of my shoulder there. This is how wide your uh, sleeve, your shoulder would be. So you can make it very tiny like the one on the screen right here. Or you can make it as wide as mine. So now I use 3.5. So from where you connect your 3.5, you're going to connect it to your chest line or to your boss point or to in the middle. So what you're going to do is, this one is a bit kind of tricky, depending on how open you want your body to be. So you can just do it at the middle point. That's what I'm trying to explain you, that at the midpoint between your chest line and the bust point, you can make it there. You connect your scissors neckline or you mark it straight to the chest line if you don't want to expose your body at all. But I want mine to stop at the boss point. That is why you can see that my body is a bit exposed. So if you don't want yours to expose, you can just do it. Your your uh, neck and scissors neckline should stop at the chest line or at the middle point before the boss point. I hope we get that. So now, the next thing you're going to do now is there is on this there's this picture here on the screen that the belly button was open so if you want to get that so just place a pattern paper at the middle there and you're going to call me by one to two inches depending on how open you want your belly button to be so i'm just trying to explain this to us i'm not doing that for my i didn't open my belly button but if you want yours to have this kind of effect just go in 
by 1 to 1.5, 1 inch to 2 inches. So I mark 1.5 there. I mean, so I'm just going to connect it. So that is, I, I use pencil for us to just get this. So I use pencil for, but for me, I'll be going straight from the middle, straight to where I connect my scissors neckline to the, like that. So that is it. If you want yours to have the openings, that's what you're going to do. But if you don't want it, you're just going to leave it like that at the center. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to create my, take my, do a contouring around here, where I'm pointing here. Because you know this is open and for it to not, to avoid any kind of gave pin, we need to do contouring. So I use 1.5 for my contouring, that's 0.5 on one side and 0.5 on the other side. And I use my cover roller to connect it to the boss point. This is very, very important so that you won't have gaping around your body like that, the neckline and so. So this is it. This is our pattern right here. These are what we need to do. So the next thing for us is to close the boss that. You know, we have the boss that open. To close the boss that, you need to open the waist that. So to do that, I will first open my waist that. So I'm still confirming the length. So the reason why I'm using 18 inches for the length of my half length is because I'm making a play suit. So if you're making a play suit or a jumpsuit, make sure that the length of your half length is 2 inches longer than your normal length. My normal half length is 18 inches. But because I'm making a play suit, that's why I'm using 18 inches. If you're making a jumpsuit or play suit, make sure you add extra 2 inches to it so that it's going to sit properly on your body so i'm just closing the boss dart right here so i'm closing the can you see so once you close the boss dart it's going to you're going to have a shift like the dart is not going to be straight can you see that there's something has shifted there because we close the boss dart, that's why so i'm just going to use my marker to smoothen it back to where it's supposed to be so the next thing for me is just to trim off the excess paper that I have there. I hope we get all my explanations. Please ask your question in the comment section if you have any question. So I'm just going to continue to cut this off. So you know, we only need one part of this pattern paper now. And we're going to be looking at how we're going to be cutting everything. So I'm still closing off my, tipping down the my poster. So now, the contouring that we did around this leg line here, yeah, I'm trying to fold it together in order to know if I don't have any shortage on both sides. And for me here, there is no kind of shortage. But make sure you do this for you to know if one side is longer than the other, in order for you to be able to do it. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and cut off those parts like so. So I'm cutting it off like that. Can you see? Just look at how the lines I'm going about it. That's why I then fast forward my cutting for us to see how this was cut. It's so very so now, just like I explained, like if you want the belly body to open, you're not going to cut through the center, you're going to cut through that line that I use my pencil to mark. But because I didn't want mine to be that, that's why I'm cutting from the center and straight up to where we created the scissors neckline. So now I know I told that as soon as I can, I can start from the chest point or just line or from the middle point before the bust point or you stop at the bust point. Whichever way, it's fine. So these are two patterns for the for the front. So these are these. This is what your pattern paper, your pattern should look like. So I'm writing my notation that it cuts two pieces for these and also for the second one. But you need to need to cut two pieces. So now to draft the back pattern, I have my pattern paper already on the table. So I'm just going to measure my shoulder to the waist, uh, my shoulder to chest line. You know, I told us the other time that you should measure your shoulder to chest line on your front there. So that's what you're going to input right here on your back pattern. And also my shoulder to the waist. My shoulder to waist for the back is 16, 14 inches. But because I'm making a play suit, that's why i mark 16 inches i hope we get that so i mark the enable the line that's the chest and also the waistline and on the pattern paper can you see that i mark one space of that's one inch that part we serve as the 
zipper allowance later run so i'm just going to explain so mark your one inch away before you start off your drafting so now i'm going to mark half of my shoulder measurement i'm half my shoulder measurement we start from that line that i marked so that after that i'm marking half my shoulder measurement from there i'll come down by one inch the front is 1.5 for the shoulder to for the back it is one inch and on the chest now i'm going to mark half of my shoulder measurement which is seven and from that line points that are marked i'm going to connect it straight to the shoulder slope at the back of the so now the next thing for me is to mark my neckline i'll be doing a basic neckline of three by one it's just a simple neckline you can make your length line deep depending on kind of neckline but it actually looks better if you do a high neckline but whichever one you want to do is fine so i'm going to connect from the neckline straight to the shoulder slope and then I'm going to measure what I have on the... Okay, before doing that, I'm going to mark my that. So, on the line that we mark, the, that, this line here, that's where my measurement is going to start. So, I'll mark out of my bust pan. My bust pan is 7 inches. So, send it right by 2, first 3.5. So, I mark that on the waistline and also on the chest line. And I connect the line together. So the length of the dart for the back is just one inch. So I'll be taking half half inch on both sides. So if you're if you're working with a plus size measurement, like let's say from bust thirty eight, you can use one point five. So I'm just going to connect those together like so. The two lines, the dart legs together like that. So now the next thing I'll do is to take the back dart. The back dart I'll be taking is half inch. So I'm going to connect it straight to the neckline. If you're working with a plus size measurement, you can use one inch for your back that. Back that is what you need to make the back to lay flat, very, very flat. You will not have any kind of folding if you use this method of back that there. So now the next thing I want to mark right now is my zipper allowance. So I'll be marking one inch. So now the new line that I marked for the dart is where I'm going to start off. So I won't be using the first line again so that's why i mark it all before and i leave it because it's, i know there will still be alterations so just mark according to how i mark right now start off from the line you mark for your back that and you're just going to connect it i use one inch for my zipper allowance if you use more than one inch you can do but one inch is mostly advisable so that there won't be too much allowance around your zipper area and there will not be any kind of bulging at the back like so so that is it so i'm going to label that part this is the zipper allowance so like that so the next thing i'm going to do now is to mark my rand on the boat my rand should um my boss circumference my boss circumference is 34 so 35 by my focus to 8.5 so now i will be starting my measurements from the second the third line this one is from the not on the first line you know the line that is last that's where you're going to start so 8.5 divided by no 34 divided by 4 is 8.5 then i'm going to add two inches for zipper um for seam allowance but right here my pattern paper is not enough so i'm trying to get another a fresh pattern paper so i'm going to be adding that to this if your pattern is not enough just add extra it's that simple so i'm going to add extra Pattern paper in order for me to have enough. So 8.5 divided by uh, no, that's what divided by 4 is 8.5. So 8.5 plus 2 inches for seam allowance, and that's 10.5 inches. So I'm still taping my extra pattern paper to the main pattern paper. So I'm going to mark 8.5 there, 10.5 rather there. So after marking that, so I've cut to the waistline. You know, I've taken it some down. So from this, where I place my tape measure, can you see the last line that I marked? That's what I'm going to mark. So my waist circumference is 28. So 28 divided by 4 equals to 7 plus 1 inch for that. That's 9. Plus, that's 8. And plus 2 inches for seam allowance. That's 10. So I mark 10 inches and I connect it straight to the chest line like so. So then the next thing for me is to mark the wideness of my shoulder. I know for the front I use 3.5. So that 3.5 is what I'm going to be using for the back. And I'm going to mark that and create a new arm or cuff. Please make sure to do that. If you use 
1.5 for your shoulder wideness at the front. That is what you're going to need to do for the back too. But whatever you use, you can use 3, you can use 4, you can use 1.5. Depending on how wide you want your shoulder arm to be there, that's what you're going to use. So right now, I'm just going to cut off the excess pattern paper right there. And that is, this is my pattern for the back. So I'm going to write my annotation. I'm going to cut two pieces for this. Can you see how it looks right here? This is the side front and this is the center front and this is the back. So I'm going to place this on my fabric. So I've pinned this to my fabric already. Um, my fabric is on fold. You know, I'll need to cut two pieces for each pattern piece. So I'll be adding half half inch round all this pattern paper. The half half inch round is for me to be able to join the body together. So make sure you add your half half inch round like so. So this is my for the front like that. So now for the play suit, you know I told us I want to be make I want to make a play suit. So I'll be using this pattern. I'll link this down in the comment section. Go and check the tutorial on how to make a pants. I'll be linking the tutorial on how to make a short pants too. So whichever one, if you want to make this a jumpsuit or a play suit like mine, you can just use any of the tutorial to create your pants and add it to it. So I'm just going to cut my fabric for this using my so the extra allowance i added to this pant here is just to make it to be free because i wanted a free play suit not so tight like just free something i can just wear around so this is it so i'm going to link the necessary tutorials in the comment section please check them out so tomorrow i'm going to be uploading the video on how to sew this please go the sewing all step was a bit long so i'm going to show us how to sew this in the next tutorial please subscribe so that you can get notified when i upload the tutorial tomorrow if you've not subscribed please comment i don't want to get from you so thank you very much for watching catch you tomorrow in my next tutorial bye